Good evening, everyone. This is Brother Brandon coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas, with another live Bible reading. And if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Proverbs 29, and we will pick up from where we left off. Proverbs 29. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked, wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father. But he that keepeth com company with harlots spendeth his substance. The king by judgment establisheth the land, but he that receiveth gifts over overthroweth it. A man that flattereth his neighbor spreadeth a net for his feet. In the transgression of an evil man there is a snare, but the righteous doth sing and rejoice. The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. The poor and the deceitful man meet together. The Lord lightened both their eyes. The king that faithfully judgeth the poor, his throne shall be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. When the wicked are marked multiplied transgression increaseth but the righteous shall see their fall correct thy son and he shall give thee rest yea he shall give delight unto thy soul where there is no vision the people perish but he that keepeth the law happy is he a servant will not be corrected by words for though he understand he will not answer Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. He that delicately bringeth up his servant from, from a child shall have him become his son at the length. An angry man stirreth up strife, and a furious man aboundeth in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Whoso is partner with a thief hateth his own soul. He heareth cursing and bereath it not. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment cometh from the Lord. An unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an is abomination to the wicked. Proverbs chapter 30. <clears throat> the words of Agir, the son of Yekah, even the prophecy, the man spake unto Ithiel, even unto Ithiel and Ukal. Surely I am more brutish than any man. And have not the understanding of a man. I neither learn wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in its fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that, that put their trust in him. 
Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be full and deny thee, and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. Accuse not a servant unto his master, lest he curse thee and thou be found guilty. There is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh how lofty are their eyes, and their eyes, eyelids lifted up. There's a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. The horse leech hath two daughters crying, give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things say not, it is enough. The grave and the barren womb. The earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that saith not, it is enough. The eye that mocketh at his father, and despiseth to obey his mother. The ravens of the valley shall pick it out, and the young eagles shall eat it. There be three things which are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. Such as the way of an adulterous woman, she eateth and wipeth her mouth, and saith, I have done no wickedness. For three things the earth is disquieted, and four which it cannot bear. For a servant when he reigneth, and a fool when he is filled with meat. For an odious woman, when she is married, and husband, when, and an handmaid that is heir to her mistress, there are four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. The conies are but a feeble folk, yet make their houses in the in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet they go they forth, all of them, by bands. The spider taketh hold with her hands, and is in king's palaces. There be three things which go well, yea, four are comely in going. A lion which is strongest among beasts, and turneth not away for any. A greyhound, and he go also, and a king against whom there is no rising up. If thou hast done foolishly in lifting up thyself, or if thou hast thought evil, lay thine hand upon thy mouth. Surely the churning of milk bringeth forth butter, and the wringing of the, no of the nose bringeth forth blood. So the forcing of wrath being bringeth forth strife. Proverbs 31 the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink. Let's say, drink and forget the law, and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb, and the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously. And plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? 
for her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field, and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands. She planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good, her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to, to the spindle, and her hands hold the, the distaff, the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor, yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looked well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is, de favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Alright you guys, that is the end of the book of Proverbs. And next time, we will pick up in the book of Ecclesiastes, or the preacher. <clears throat> so next time, we will pick up on Ecclesiastes. And uh, hopefully this is a blessing to you. Um, hopefully that you guys are getting something out of this. Hopefully that your faith is being built up. Um, as the Bible says, that faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. So till next time, this is Brother Brandon. I'm signing off for the day. God bless you guys. I love you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. God bless you guys. See ya. Love you. Bye.